Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marshix, aka The Young Bambino, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the brand new Deepstone Crypt raid mods. But first, if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. According to YouTube Analytics, only 3% of my viewers are actually subscribed. What are you doing? It's free and you can always change your mind later. And fun fact, 99% of YouTubers use this intro. Now, without further ado, let's get into the content. At the time of this video, the Deepstone Crypt raid has not yet been released, but we are able to see the new raid mods in the database, as well as the collections tab, and boys, they tell us a lot. Usually we go into the raids not knowing any mechanics at all, but because of these mods we're able to get a glimpse of what to expect. There are four mods that we're going to be able to obtain, most likely through hidden chests between encounters, just like the Garden of Salvation. The first mod we see is called Herd Thinner. Your weapons deal additional damage to non-powerful combatants. This can also stack multiple copies to get greater effects. In fact, all of these mods can stack multiple copies. This will definitely be useful on day one with the contest modifier, and especially if you have to defend an area from a horde of red bars. The other mods on this mention mechanics, but while this mod doesn't directly mention any, I believe this hints at hordes of enemies being a big part of the raid. If you think differently, just look at all the campaign missions and new areas and count how many enemies there are, then compare that to all the old planets. Just saying. The second mod is Enhanced Operator Augment. I'm not sure if that means there's a normal version of this, but if there is, it isn't in the collections. It's a Solar Affinity mod that states, with the Operator Augment, you gain periodic bursts of healing when your health is depleted. With no Augment, collecting Orbs of Power causes you to periodically spawn heavy ammo. So this tells us we're going to be dealing with some sort of buff or relic. And if you look over at the names of the other mods, you'll see that there are also Scanner Augments and Suppressor Augments. It's hard to tell what the exact interpretation of Augment is, but what we can tell from this is that we're most likely going to split up into groups of two or three for some encounters. If we end up needing two people with the same Augment, we'll have to split up into three groups of two. Same thing if they act as the Scourge of the Past buffs where you can't overlap them. It may also require that we have two sets of three people. One group gets the augments and the others don't. I'm leaning more towards this theory because the names sound like they do different roles that people take. Operator, Scanner, and Suppressor. The fact that these mods have effects while you don't have an augment makes me believe that one team of three will not have the augments, or at the very least not the whole duration of every encounter. Back onto the mods though, this could be very powerful whether you have an augment or not. Being able to stay alive is always helpful, and getting heavy ammo from generating orbs of power is nutty. Remember, masterwork weapons generate orbs of power, which in turn generate heavy ammo. So your guns basically shoot heavy ammo. What is this, Borderlands? Okay, on to the next mod. We have Enhanced Scanner Augment. With the Scanner Augment, powerful targets are marked by precision shots and take increased damage for a short period. And with no augment, you gain a bonus to resilience, recovery, and your class ability recharges faster. I guarantee you that last part is why Hunter Dodge got nerfed. The top part will definitely be meta if this debuff can be applied to a boss. The bottom part is also nice, but nothing too important, at least on the surface. It really depends on the bonus. We'll have to see just how strong this is when we get our hands on it. The last mod we're able to see in the collections is the Enhanced Suppressor Augment. With this Suppressor Augment, you take decreased damage from powerful foes. With no Augment, grenades temporarily stun your targets. Once again, staying alive is always welcome, especially if you are the one with a big roll. The bottom part may or may not be useful. If you can stagger big enemies, that's great, but if not, I'm not too sure how well this will go. I could also see this being useful if you have to stop enemies from reaching a zone. Its icon also has the unstoppable background, so if there happens to be unstoppable champions in this raid, this could potentially help with those and free up a weapon slot. It doesn't mention anything about being able to stop that, but the icon makes me believe that may be a factor. Well, that's all the mods we have access to right now. If there are any others once the raid releases on the 21st, I'll keep you updated. And if you want to watch me and my team compete in the world's first race next Saturday, November 21st, you can watch us live here on YouTube at youtube.com slash marshix or if you want my friends perspectives you can watch them at twitch.tv slash soundswipe 300 or twitch.tv slash the arcane raven i hope you all enjoyed this video or found it helpful 
And if you did, please consider leaving a like, sharing this video with all your friends, and subscribing to stay up to date with all my other Destiny 2 content. I want to thank you all for watching this far into the video. I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.